Okay, come on, guys, be honest. Who out there thought the Washington Wizards would win last night? Hell, who thought the Washington Wizards would kill the Indiana Pacers last night? Let's take it a step further. Who thought the Washington Wizards would out-rebound the Indiana Pacers by 142 last night? Never saw that one coming. I don't think any of you did either. I don't think Larry Bird and the Pacers did either last night. What an embarrassing, pathetic performance by the Pacers. But how many times have we said that over the past three months? I mean... This team, I'm telling you, I've said it repeatedly, this team needs a bunch of shrinks. They don't have to make a change in the coaching staff. They don't have to make a change in personnel. They just need 12 shrinks coming in every gay day before the games to have personal consultations. Put Roy Hibbert, put Paul George, put Lance Stevenson, George Hill, put them all down on the couch and just talk about it. Let it all out. Get those feelings out because there's something wrong with this team. I mean, have you ever seen seen a team that just like snapped like this one did two and a half months ago? I mean, mentally, this team has just lost it. Play well for a couple games in a row. You think they're finally back on board and they just collapsed last night. But hey, we've got two more NBA games tonight and that's all that matters. Hi guys, Adam Marco here and this is going to be your Wednesday video report. I'm going to break down one of those games for you, the Heat and the Nets. And uh, the other one is going to be the Spurs and the Trailblazers. It's going to be the first ever 20-dime release of my career in the NBA. Uh, normally, a 15-dime play is my highest rated play, and 99.9% .9 of my plays are rated between 5 and 15 dimes. But this is bigger. First ever 20-dime play of my career in the NBA. That's how much I like the Spurs Trailblazers Game 5 selection tonight. It is a side play. That's what I have going tonight. But listen, my play pales in comparison to what Scott Delaney has going. Yesterday, of course, you got his 100-dime NBA winner number five out of six as the half-price play of the day, and it was the Clippers covering at Oklahoma City. 55, 32, and one roll with 100-dime releases in all sports combined over the past three years, including five out of six in the NBA, but today he is upping the ante with his First ever 150-dime NBA play of his career. Not postseason, not regular season. We're talking lifetime of his career. And Scott is one of the charter members of this site. He has been around since uh, I started these things about uh, 10, 11 years ago. God, it runs in 10, 11 years I've been doing this. Hard to believe. Anyway, Scott Delaney's got the play here tonight. And... Not only that, he's won 18 of the last 25 days, making $10 betters, a little over 6200 not only that, $10 betters in the NBA this season, up $10,825. And it's his NBA major wager winner, number 17 out of 22. What more can we say? Oh, how about this? As he goes for uh, winning day number 19 out of 27, it's the half-price play of the day for the second straight day. Half-price winner yesterday on the Clippers cover. Today, half-price play of the day. His first ever 150 dime release. Now listen, guys, you know the half-price play of the day has won five of the past six days, I believe it has been. And you know, these have all been monster plays from Jeff Benton, from Brad Wilton, from Scott Delaney. Is it the greatest thing for me probably to do business-wise? As a capitalist, probably not. But here's the bottom line, guys. If you took a big pie and you said, this pie represents gamblers, okay? 100% of that pie bets football, whether it's NFL or college football. And after the Super Bowl, Maybe about 70, 75% of them remain for March Madness. And then once March Madness goes, that pie shrinks down to about 25 to 30% of the remaining gamblers still play in the NBA playoffs. God knows why so many of them disappear. I mean, it's a 50-50 proposition whether you're betting an NFL game the third Sunday in October or you're betting an NBA playoff game here tonight, second Wednesday of the month. It's the same 50-50 proposition, right? But people disappear. And that pie gets even smaller once the playoffs wind down and baseball consumes us for the summer months, it's the dog days of summer, it goes down to about 10%. So I look at it this way, and I've said to you many, many times that I believe that you don't have to spend big money to make big money. And for those of you that are here at the site now, the loyal players, the diehards, <laughs> the guys like me that do it every single day, I reward you even more. And I'm going to continue to reward you even more by saving you money on the biggest plays here at the site. Again, I'm a capitalist, aren't we all? We should be. Uh, but the bottom line is, I believe again, and it's always been my principle and my philosophy since starting these sites. You know, you don't have to spend big, big bucks to make big money. So that's why I'm giving you the biggest play on the board again today. It's the half price play of the day. 
I hope you get it. I hope you win again, just like five of the last six have won as well. Okay, guys, uh, five-dollar play of the day. Gabriel DuPont going for his fifth straight NBA winner, his Eastern Conference semis total of the year. Heat nets over under, uh, just as strong as last night's play on the Thunder and Clippers under. You get it for $5 by using the coupon code DuPont5, D-U-P-O-N-T, and the number five. Uh, early $5 play. Shawn Michaels' bankroll building game of the month in baseball goes at 210 Eastern time. If you happen to be watching this video early, it's your Colorado-Kansas City contest. All Shawn Michaels has done over the past 11 months is have 149 plays. He's won 90 of them. 90 wins, 57 losses, and two pushes. And in that stretch, $10 betters have won $22,790. You get it for 5 bucks using coupon code SEAN5. And Jeff Benton, $9 payday winner. He's got 59 winner number 28 out of 43. Blazers, Spurs total, 25 out of 33 winning days for Jeff Benton. $10 betters up $10,530. And you've gotten 20 of those plays at huge discounted prices. Just like today's five dollar, or excuse me, nine dollar payday winner, Benton Nine, Benton Nine, B E N T O N, and the number nine, and a couple of heads up for you. First of all, Jeff Benton and Anthony Red had the exact same play on the total in the Spurs Blazers contest, and A Red, it's his second biggest play of the season, okay, in the NBA, and 89 winner, NBA winner number 11 out of 15 overall. Meanwhile, Brad Wilton, and I just want to get you his updated record. Let me scroll down the page here. Uh, Brad Wilton, 100 dime NBA, excuse me, 100 dime winner in all sports, 13 out of 17, twice as strong as his 50 dime winner last night on the Wizards. So there, there's a guy who was saw the Washington Wizards winning last night. Of course, he was also one of three guys that had the Seattle Seahawks in that little game against Peyton Manning and company back in early February here at the site. Uh, Wilton and Scott Delaney are on the same side of tonight's Brooklyn Miami game, but of course, you get Delaney for half price by using the coupon code half. H-A-L-F. Okay, let's talk uh, about that game from my perspective. Listen, you know, LeBron went off for 49 points in game number four. So much for Paul Pierce saying, hey, I'm going to step up and I want to take LeBron. LeBron took you to the woodshed, Paul, okay? Um, listen, they and that's had the uh, nice game in uh, game number three because they were deadly from three-point range, hitting 15 to 25 three-pointers. But in game number four, they couldn't hit the broad side of the barn, five for 22 from beyond the arc. This is an aging old team. This is a Heat team that knows how to close out series. You know they are a perfect 8-0 and when playing at home and potential series clincher since the big three came together. You've seen how the Nets faded in the second half of game number one at Miami. You saw how the Nets faded. In the fourth quarter of game number two at Miami, you saw how the Nets just choked and collapsed going almost four minutes without a field goal in the final quarter and the latter stages of that final quarter of game number four on their home floor at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Why would you want to grab the points with the Nets tonight? This is just my philosophy. Listen, I think it's going to be another ugly, low-scoring game. I have no interest in betting it, but if I had to and you put a gun to my head, I would go ahead and lay the seven with the Heat here because bottom line is this, you know, for the Nets to even be competitive, they need big games from their bench because they are playing, in essence, with only three starters that can score points. And even another one, you know, Deron Williams, you never know what he's going to give you. Remember that 0-for performance in game number three? Uh, you know, Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce, what you get with old guys – is old guys have on the floor, and they haven't been productive in this entire series. So I would go with Miami in this play. Now, the other selection, I want to take a look at the NBA, uh, a baseball game for you. Uh, Texas and uh, Houston. Strain series. Rangers uh, snapped a losing streak and won by shutout in the series opener on Monday night. And then last night, the Astros recorded the shutout. Two slumping teams, back-to-back -back shutouts. Won one way, won the other. Who would have figured? Scott Feldman, the former Ranger, who spent eight years, I think, with the Texas organization going for the Astros tonight. Now, earlier this season, he pitched great uh, against Hugh Darvish and the Rangers with seven innings of two-hit shutout ball and a no decision back on April 11th. But listen, this is just his second start since returning from the disabled list with biceps tendonitis. And his first start Friday uh, since returning from the DL against Baltimore on the road, gave up five hits, but two of them were home runs in six innings of work. Um, the Rangers had lost 10 of 14 before winning uh, Monday night, and now, of course, they lost last night. But, you know, the Astros are only 7-14 and 14 at home. Uh, Nick Tepich, I think I'm pronouncing his name right, is going for the uh, Rangers tonight. Now, listen, this guy struggled in spring training when they were counting on him to be uh, in their starting rotation, okay? But the Rangers' starting rotation is just in shambles because of all the injuries. They, this is going to be their ninth different starting pitcher 
Well, we're in week number six of the season. That's how bad it's gotten. But he went down to AAA and he really dominated in six AAA starts. On seven AAA starts, he went six and one with an ERA of 1.58. Uh, he won both of his starts last year against the Astros. I'm going to go with the Rangers in this particular game here. Listen, Houston's only won three of their last 11 games, despite last night's shutout. And last night's win for the Astros, that was just their fourth in the last 28 games in this series. Four and 24. And you're going to give me the Rangers at minus 110. Okay. I'll lay the points with them, or lay the uh, juice with them on the road. Anyway, the Rangers are your free baseball play. The Heat, your free NBA play. And I will catch you again tomorrow morning.